Well, thank you everybody for joining. Today we are going to talk about some tips and some tricks with the field software. My name is Andy Huntley. I'm the scanning technology sales manager for Topcom Positioning. I've been doing this a little over 10 years, uh, working with positioning technology, be it from construction layout to actual surveying and scanning. The last company I worked for, I was in charge of their scanning technology. And now I'm here at Topcon running the scanning cells. Um, so, like I said today, we want to talk about the magnet software and how every one of these slide or these instruments all interface with the magnet. All right, so our agenda today, we are going to go over the following. Basically, how to load a custom interface template, the different types of files that we can import, uh, also how to customize your as-built measuring page. So when you want to go in, you're doing your as-built, how to make it easier and comfortable for you. Then we're going to talk a little bit about Magnet Enterprise and the benefits of it. And then last but not least, checking for software updates. So let's go into the interface. If you notice on the left side of the screen, I have our traditional magnet field interface. This is exactly what you'll see when you download it. But on the right side, it's still magnet field, it's just, it looks different. It's simpler. We get rid of, or we turn off some of the features that you don't need. So we don't want to have the complex system. We don't want to see things we don't need. The benefits of doing something like this for your customers and for end users is it's, it's simpler to train new layout operators. Uh, if your operator is not running the equipment efficiently, then he's not being productive. The next thing is, is uh, you don't really, with all the extra bells and whistles, you will have guys that they sit there and they start playing around with features and they start messing with data and you don't want to take a chance of deleting data. If you don't have it backed up and you delete it, you might not be able to get it back. And then the other benefit with having a custom interface template is if I use certain features quite often, I want to make it where I can easily get to it. It's all about production. So let's talk about the interface. How do we load a custom interface? Well, this is our magnet field home screen. And I'm gonna talk about magnet field because if you notice, there's a lot of extra stuff like apps and chat, and then the terms are more survey driven and not necessarily construction driven or like uh, law enforcement might want some other terms. This is the easiest way to go in. And if you have a setup or a style template, this is how we can make it where it's easier for you. So we go up on the uh, home screen, we click on the magnet icon. Then you'll notice when it pops down, configure menus. So we click on that. As soon as we open up the configure menu, you'll see all of the features. If I do not have a custom template already made, this is where I would create one. I would turn off things or rename them. But since I have a custom template already made, and if you'd like to see or you want a copy of our custom templates, please reach out. But let's go load my template. So I click on the magnet icon again and hit load. When I go to the load screen, it's going to send me just to a generic folder just like this. So I had to hit the backup arrow so i go back a few folders until i locate my d drive which you'll see in here i have topcon menus 
I highlight the TopCon menus and then I hit the green check. Once I do that, now things start changing. You don't see the, you see projects, plan, instead of map. It's not plan. Um, things that we don't really need on a normal basis, we turned them off and made it simple, just like this. So like earlier, how I showed you the two side-by-side -side data collectors with the software, one had a lot more features that did not pertain necessarily to our work, where this one has features that pertain to our work. Now, files. What type of files can I bring in? Why is it, why do I talk about this? Well, for customers and end users that have multiple systems across their fleet, and when I say multiple systems, I'm talking about different manufacturer systems. You've got Topcon, you've got our competitors, and you're sitting there going, okay, well, then I have to process this data in their own software to make it where the field can read it. Well, that's a little different with us. We at Topcon have phenomenal relationships with Autodesk, Bentley, and different things like that, where we can import a raw DWG or DXF right in to our job. So instead of having to go back and use a, a desktop software that the or like you get a dwg from the gc and now you gotta put in the desktop software to process no we don't do that the guys in the field can walk over to the gc office grab the the dwg load it in check a couple of things and then he can start working so having this ability it's it's easier for data transfer between the different trades. If like my background, I come from concrete where I had my file and I'm, I want to sit there and see what the dirt guys have. I can bring the dirt guys files over and also view it and see without having to take the data back to the office to process it. Next, improving your as built measuring. The biggest thing you're you will always hear in life is time is money. When we sit here and talk about time is money. You start thinking, well, I need to work faster because the faster I am, the more money I make. Well, if I'm having to sit here and mess around with a bunch of different codes, say I'm doing an as built and I'm going across a roadway where I have like a back of curb, a gutter line, a crown of the road, paint stripes, all of this that I have to measure out on 100 foot station intervals, that could be time consuming. But when I start using quick codes, that changes it because I'm just pushing one button on the screen and it automatically jumps. The other thing is, is if like this guy here, he's got his data collector kind of blocking his bubble, if I'm using a GPS head that has the uh, tilt functionalities in it, technology in it, I don't have to sit there and like try to break my neck to see the bubble. I can just look on the screen and actually see the bubble bile. I'll show you here in a second what I'm talking about. But let's talk about these quick codes. Let's see how we can create them to make our experience a lot better. So if I go to measure, this is our basic as built screen. It's very generic and very plain. Well, let's add some quick codes. So I hit the, the magnet logo again, go to quick codes and then edit quick codes. In here, if I have a whole library set of quick codes already in here, then I could just choose between. So if I'm like a land surveyor that needs that's doing highway project, I can have a set of quick codes just for the highway project. If I have a project where I'm doing boundary topoing, then I'll have a set of codes for boundary. But let's go in and I, let's show you how to create one. So I'm gonna go to add, and in here, I give the group name 
basically how do I want to call it? Well, since I come from concrete, I'm going to choose concrete. Then what are my next set of codes that I'm always going to need? Well, I'm always going to need to back a curb. I'm always going to need like a gutter line. And then also I'm very interested in the drop inlets because this is my paving. Then for the next set of lines, I have the building area, a set of anchor bolts, my embed plates, my blockouts, and my columns. Those all pertain to my building. And then in the bottom corner, since I like to set more control across the job site, I have a very quick control point feature. So once I have all that, I hit the green check, and there's my quick codes. Now I can just go in and push that button. So if I wanted to do uh, shoot in all my back of curbs, I can push the back of curb line. And the thing you notice is it's got this zigzag line. It's going to take a shot and depending on the line I put it on, it will also start drawing my line work for me. So I'm kind of doing two things at once. I'm taking my location shots and also drawing the line work to help speed the guys in the office up. Now, I told you just a minute ago about that tilt technology and that bubble. Right here on the center of the screen, you will see a level bile. The tilt technology allows me to, where I don't have to sit there and stare at my plum bile on my pole, I can just look at the screen. So now, instead of, like I said, breaking my neck, trying to see the bubble to make sure I'm perfectly lined up, I can use this. Next big money saving. Enterprise. Enterprise is our secured cloud server that is programmed directly into our magnet software. Um, basically, and when I say it's secured, it's all ran on uh, right now AWS's servers. So you get the full lockdown on that. Uh, using this server, system in our cloud you don't have to travel your workers don't have to travel across town or cross county to transfer data it's very quick very easy and a lot of times in construction sometimes the field guide doesn't have access to like a computer or things like that so using enterprise is very quick and easy for them and having a cloud-based service like this, you're able to get updates on projects quicker. So if I need to send uh, an as-built to the GC via my pro uh, project manager, I can upload my points to Enterprise and then have my PM email the GC and do the whole chain of command type thing or vice versa, there's a change order that comes down and I have a new set of points. Instead of I having to drive across town, we can easily see it, or we can get the points from Enterprise. And the biggest thing though, and it's very interesting to me, is that if you're running the solution 12 month lease package with our magnet filled in layout software, you get this already you have one seat to enterprise and a lot of people don't realize that if you wanted to know more and check to see if you have it please definitely reach out to your topcon rep we'll be more than glad to assist you to let you know if you have it or not but let me show you just how easy magnet can start saving you money or the enterprise let's say this is my project and where this project is located is in South Houston in a small town, well, I'll say small, but not really, uh, called Pearland, Texas. This is a fire station being built off of 2234. So let's say I'm using a system where I can't use cloud service and I do not have a laptop that I can get the data from. 
because my company or my laptop was stolen just recently and things like that. Well, let's see how how bad it's going or how we're going to have to drive across town and how that's going to cost us. Well, like I said, I need to go to the office to go get a new set of points. Well, let's see where this point is compared to where our office location is. Here it is. The little red pin is our job site. Shadow Creek Ranch, Shadow Creek Ranch. You see the blue line and it goes all the way up north to work. That is our office. Well, Google Maps has told me there's three different routes I can take and any of them is going to range between 35 minutes to an hour. And I can honestly tell you, living here for a, a while, you never go by what Google says. I don't know if a lot of major cities are like this, but that route Google wants me to take, going right through downtown, would look almost something like this, depending on the time of day. Well, this set of traffic that you see is not through downtown. It's actually on the second route, somewhere in that location. And this is a normal Monday through Saturday occurrence. So I, according to Google, it's going to take me, if I need to go get a set of uh, points from the office and then come back, well, I'm looking at anywhere from 35 minutes to an hour of drive time. And then I'm sitting in traffic. So I'm burning fuel from sitting in traffic. I'm burning fuel for driving and it's going to take me an hour. Oh, and one of the routes Google wants me to take is a toll road. So now I'm having to pay for tolls. I believe on this stretch, there's at least three toll booths you will have to pay going to the office and three toll booths you're going to have to pay going back to the job site. And then last, that far out one, that's about 45 minutes, what Google says, is also tolls. And there's, I want to say, about six toll booths you're going to hit between that and getting to the office. So with Magnet Enterprise, we can bypass all of that. In about 15 minutes, the guy has the points he needs to get back to work. So I can spend about a quarter of my day driving, or I can waste 15 minutes go check my equipment, get it cleaned, and get ready for my new set of points. That's the benefits, and the biggest tip I would tell anybody is use enterprise. So how does enterprise work? Well, to use enterprise, we go to connect. The same screen that we use to connect to our instruments, there's a button next to it that says enterprise, right next to the general. I click on enterprise and where you see login, we put in the same enterprise login. Uh, my, it's the same account as like my topcon.com's account, the same account that you use to activate your equipment, things like that. You enter in the info and then you hit connect. Takes a couple of seconds, it connects, and then you'll see this screen. Once I see this screen, I hit the home icon because I'm now connected to enterprise. And then I go to jobs. From jobs, you'll see uh, enterprise. Like I told you just a little bit ago, it's already programmed directly into our systems. No having to jump out, another program, things like that. So I click enterprise. When I'm in enterprise, I can see all my projects that I have. If they have like a project name, or code number, I have it loaded like that so everybody can track it. But in this case, my pro uh, project manager wants to work all my point cloud or my points and things like that. So I'm going to hit this uh, cloud with the plus sign and hit upload current job because that's the job I'm working on. 
once I do that, you'll see it says, OK, well, we're going to upload the current job and the job you're working in is called default. Highlight it and then hit upload. This takes about a minute to upload the point, but once it's uploaded in the cloud, you'll see file transferred. After that, I've uploaded my project. And then I hit the home, go to connect, and then I hit that disconnect button. I always recommend disconnecting out of enterprise if you have multiple systems that do not have their own user in, uh, login. The other benefit with doing this, and this is a tip, is use enterprise as your digital backup. When you're done with the project for the day, upload your points to the enterprise cloud. The reason I say doing do that is uh, you never know if your equipment, like your data collector, is going to you're going to drop it and it gets damaged somehow, like you break the screen. Since everybody has a cell phone and a lot of people tend to drop their phones and the screen shatters. Now you got to get another screen. Well, if you have your points already uploaded into the cloud, you can easily just go log back into the cloud, download them back. Or the worst case is uh, your data collector finds its hands to somebody that does not belong to and they take it. Well, if they take your data collector, you have no data if you don't upload it to the cloud. But if you are uploading your data to the cloud, you can easily download it back and you'll be good to go. So always, I always recommend using the enterprise cloud uh, subscription. If you've got it, use it. Now, lastly, checking for updates. Why do I recommend it? Well, just like our phones, like you see here, where, hey, you got a notification, there's a new up, up, uh, software update. I highly recommend doing this because a lot of times, if, say, you get to the point you're bringing in DWGs, well, if Autodesk is updating their DWGs and they change something, at TopCon, we go in and we rewrite our software where it can recognize those changes or any other other companies. Um, the other thing is, is if maybe there's a new feature we add in and uh, you read the release notes and see that, hey, that looks really cool. I like it. I want it because that could help me. These are all the biggest reasons I would recommend doing updates. And you don't have to contact your dealer. You don't have to contact this uh, TopCon rep to ask, hey, is there a new version out? It's automatically uploaded. You just periodically go check. And I'll show you how to check for it. The other big note I will say is uh, before you do the software updates, check to make sure your maintenance is active. If your maintenance is not active, you will not be able to register your software unless you reactivate it. <laughs> Excuse me. So always double check and I'll show you how to check it too here in a second. Um, if you are running the lease program, the 12 month solution lease package, your maintenance is always going to be active so you can update whenever you want. So to check to see if you can up, update your software, you go hit the magic button as one of my buddies here at TopCon would call it. Hit it, hit active modules and your screen will appear. As you notice, I run the solution package, the 12 month lease, and I have all the modules. Mine is about to expire, so I know, hey, I need to go ahead and get it renewed. The, doing it this way also helps you see when is your software going to, if you are running the 12 month lease, you'll know when to expect to get it renewed so that you don't get caught off guard. But my maintenance is current, it says it's not expired. So let's go check for software updates. 
I hit the Helm button again, and now click on that Elm and go to Software Updates. When I click on the Software Updates, this screen will appear. Well, last time I checked, I was still updating, but to simply check to make sure I'm good, all I do is click the Check button. It will go online, search for the most current version of this case, Magnet Field, I'm looking for. It. If there is a new version, it will say new version found, and then the apply button will light up. You hit the apply button, what it will do is it will go in, it will turn off your magnet field, ask you if you want to, or well, first I'll ask you, do you want to create a backup of your magnet field? I recommend doing the backup. Do the backup, and then as soon as it's done doing the backup, um, it'll go into a install screen, which will ask, are you installing on a piece of hardware or on to, and when I say hardware, like an optical instrument, or are you installing onto a computer or a FC 6000? You click the computer FC 6000, it will do some checks, make sure you're online, and then just follow the prompts. It will walk you all the way through. As long as your license agreement is current and active, uh, most of the time it'll carry that license over and it'll everything will keep working just like it was before you did the update. All right, at that point, I've now come to the questions. Does anybody have a question? Okay, no questions. Must be a good thing. All right, so I want to thank everybody for coming out and attending this webinar. If you have any questions later on, please reach out to your local TopCon representative. We'll be more than glad to assist you. And uh, we will be posting this webinar online probably within the next couple of days for if you guys want to review. Other than that, thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day.